Hey guys, it's Friends of Gaming here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys some more YouTube tips. Um, this one's going to be one of my ones that's been requested the most over on Twitter. However, if you do have any suggestions, please tell me in the comment section down below for things that you want me to cover. Now, like I said, over on Twitter, a lot of people have been asking me about this. You can probably tell what it is by the title. I'm going to be covering my favourite sort of three softwares that you can use to make thumbnails, or even stuff like channel art, such as banners and logos, anything you kind of want. Now, one of them is obviously going to be my most recommended, the other two are going to be things I've used in the past. I'm also going to mention one or two softwares that I haven't personally used, but I've been recommended to by, again, a couple of people over on Twitter, other YouTube friends that have said they're quite good. So, the first one I'm going to cover here is for anyone who is currently or wants to make their thumbnails on mobile or anything like that. It's called Pixar. It's available on the Apple Store, the Android Store, and even the Windows Store, because I have a Nokia. I was shocked by this. Um, but yeah, basically, you can use this for any sort of channel art stuff. It is obviously really good, really handy. The advantages are that you can kind of make them anywhere on the go. Um, but to be honest, that's the only real advantage of this. The disadvantages are that Obviously, you're on mobile, so you've got to get it onto PC anyway to put the thumbnail on. So that's kind of useless. Also, you it can be quite tricky to actually get that photo onto your computer. Um, unless you kind of USB it straight onto the computer. It can be a bit awkward, this software, with getting things onto your PC. Because they kind of just focus on it being on mobile. So they're the kind of drawbacks with it. Obviously, it's quite simple. There's not that many features. Uh... So there's a lot of disadvantages to this, but if you're really pushed for some reason you can't use your computer to make the thumbnails, then go ahead, use this. You know, it, it, it can be quite useful. Moving on to our sort of in the middle kind of option, this one is our sort of online web browser one. Now I do want to give an honourable mention here to Pixlr. Um, this is something a lot of people I know use, and I've been recommended it quite a lot. However, I haven't had enough experience using it myself. To say anything about that, so, you know, if you want any advice on Pixlr or whether it's any good, go and check it out for yourself, ask people in the comment section, because I haven't got that much experience, but I did want to mention it here. However, the one I used to use before my, what I heard this on now is Panzoid. Panzoid is really simple, you can also make 3D intros on there, however, I don't really recommend them because I don't think they look that nice, but you can make some pretty nice ones if you put the time and effort in. But yeah, Panzoid, you know, it is really simple. It is on the PC, it's online, you don't have to download anything. There are quite a few more features than Pixar. I really like it. I used it for a, for months, I think. And one thing I do recommend, though, is the text. I don't really like on here. If you are going to use this software, I recommend you use another site called cooltext.com and use some of the text on there and then put it over onto Panzoid because I really don't like the text on Panzoid. Um, however, there's not that many disadvantages to Panzoid apart from the fact that there's not that many features, especially compared to other software, but it is really simple and easy to use, like I said. Um, but yeah, there's just not that many features, so you really can't download anything. You just want something to quickly make them on. Use this. Use you know, cool text as well to kind of make it look better. And yeah, moving into our final software here. This one is my favorite. This is what I use now. So most of you guys will know what this is. Obviously, I'm talking about Photoshop. Now, a lot of people don't want to go through the hassle of installing Photoshop and all of this, but Photoshop is amazing for making thumbnails. There's tons of thumbnail tutorials if you want to improve your graphics and stuff like that. Photoshop especially as well for making banners or logos and stuff is amazing. Photoshop really as a YouTuber is something you kind of just need to have. Now I know that Photoshop CS6 is a paid for thing. There are tons of ways to get it free. Um, I'm not advising you do that but I'm just saying there are ways out there. However if you are worried about anything like that there are, well there is should I say, a free version of an older version of Photoshop which I do recommend you go ahead and get if you, oh you're you or your parents or something are worried about you getting um, sort of possibly a virus from trying to find a dodgy way of getting it. So, I, it's just so easy to get a hold of. It's really, it's quite hard to use at first, but once you kind of learn 
how to use it all. It's so useful. I mean, I don't know what I'd do without Photoshop now. It's just so useful for me. So, make sure you go ahead and get your hands on Photoshop. It is really useful. Um, but like I said, the other two options will work perfectly fine. Obviously, the only disadvantage really with Photoshop is it can be a bit complicated. And I guess, you know, you do have to pay for the most up-to-date version. But, yeah. Then I sort of couple of softwares, couple of useful things for thumbnails or anything like that that you want to use. Remember, tell me what tips you want in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.